good day dear pilots and today I want to tell you how to transfer from DCS Steam here it is DCS Steam to standalone and not just transfer licenses but transfer files with the least use time least waiting time basically if you have spare hour and want to play in the next two hours you can do this process if you have fast internet, it will take you something like one hour to download 100 gigabytes of standalone open beta. Maybe it will take you something like uh, you have night to just wait for download. You can do it uh, that way. For me, standalone download took 10 hours. 100 gigabytes of downloadable files took me 10 hours for Steam. I didn't want it to take this time again. So I spent one hour messing with my files and I hope to replicate this process in this video. It's not going to be perfect, it's going to be virtually simulated. I'm not going to download open beta once again because I deleted it. But then there were some dudes who had similar issues, they played on Steam, they wanted to move to standalone. So I decided to... But they didn't want to download a bunch of new files once again, while they basically have them on their PC, it's the same texture files, same script files. So I am going to try to replicate what it takes. First step. Go into DCS open standalone web page. See some nice news about Apache releasing soon. Then go to profile. In profile, uh, let me get my screenshot. You get edit option. Click on it and you will get your user profile. There will be your email, your real name, blah, blah, blah. Here will be your email, password change. You can access Steam account here. Get licenses. Transfer them. Something blah, blah, blah. It's pretty intuitive. You will make it, bro. And when it's done, you will have this shit. You will have a list of all your sweet, sweet licenses in here, which got you, which DCS standalone got from, from your Steam account connection. Now we have our licenses. What we're doing next, we are once again on our standalone web page. We're going to uh, download DCS world, download open beta. Why open better? Everyone plays on open better. It's quicker updates, quicker fixes. Maybe it's a little bit more unstable, but most servers run open on open better. It's better for your experience if you haven't already had it on Steam. Then, while we're getting our executable for installment of open better, we go to Steam. On Steam, we have our DCS properties, betas, public beta. Then, if your DCS is installed, not like mine because I did this process once time, long time ago, go into local files. For example, to let's try to ask. Cool shooter game, basically. Well, by the way, I recommend you trying. You yeah, you will have just browse. It's pretty intuitive once again. Then you get your DCS world and Steam library. Sorry for a bunch of Russian hard. I tried to minimize it as pass as much as possible, but this is basically it. It won't be dependent. I will discover. It. You have your DCS world folder. I uh, basically I once again I wiped it completely, but Steam didn't delete my custom libraries for some reason. Which makes process a little bit easier for us. So basically, yep, we got our DCS world on Steam. We found it nice. In the meantime, we got our executable. We run it. We say blah blah blah. We are very chill. We enjoy your uh, trade rights, whatever. How it's called? Epilepsy warnings. User agreement. Yep. Then it tells you where to install. But anyway, hard drive. Obviously, if you don't know by this point, SSD is really, really recommended for DCS. You install it. Uh, if you want to do it for the first try, not like me, you will have just open better. You install the files. Click next. It will install 8 megabytes of files, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check it on my... This one. Yep, 8 megabytes of files. And as soon, it will there will be some pop-up to change direction. Let me show it actually. Uh, you want to create the stop icon on your just first open beta without any numbers, without any modifiers. You want to create desktop icon. This this will be very important. Uh, you want to install it. Uh, you want to actually you can even not start download, but if you start download, you click it here, it's going to download new updater. Uh, it's not happening, but basically you don't want to stand alone. You don't want it to happen. Where is my open beta three? Uh, it didn't download anything, but it basically you don't have to download. You can go, you can close it at this point. So you have your open beta, maybe on first try. 
completely vanilla 8 megabytes then you get your DCS world everything in here we'll put everything into there like shoot from one to another you got it uh, it will be blank seed process because DCS is 150 gigabytes on average if you have few models installed already few maps so it will be lengthy process go get coffee go get some cookies you got it you moved everything you moved all 150 gigabytes now what what i told you is that uh, executable and shortcut or shortcut how you want to call it is very important here it is i have it on my desktop if you probably already seen my desktop is pretty messy so i'm not going to show it here and basically you get uh, your uh, shortcut if there is its way you want this folder to be folder to where you have original 8 megabytes of standalone where you moved dcs uh, steam dcs from steam where you moved this folder is very important then you run updater if you just move without 8 megabytes from uh, of vanilla updater uh, this file won't this shortcut won't run so this 8 megabytes are very important then it will start really lengthy time of first getting 3 megabytes or something like that of update info latest update info and then it will take even more time to verify all the files in my case it took some time but like 10 minutes 20 minutes and it verified everything except like 200 megabytes it downloads 200 megabytes and runs game what happens next there's another few fixes we need to do we run, we're running game we verified files we already saved like 10 hours of download into 20 minutes of verifying files because my ssd is fast and my ram even so i have 16 gigabytes of memory my ram is very fast it, it happened like in 20 minutes we saved 10 hours into 20 minutes really cool what's next it tells you that it has some uh, files it doesn't like it will be basically if you read uh pathways it will be liveries uh, of aircraft uh, which are not free basically everything except su-25 and 51 i don't remember this second aircraft free aircraft name basically it will have, don't like all your liveries and basically for some reason it will want like your paid modules and we'll get how to fix it but you tell them to keep files not moved in not do not move it into backup don't mm, delete them you want to keep everything because once again we are saving time on downloads then dcs runs when you said everything to keep it what we get in here uh, we have no license manager and we have no licenses uh where is it we don't have no we have no licenses down down here what the uh, I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Do it work. Uh, we have no licenses uh, down here. This, this is weird. So what do we know next? We close our DCS and we go into SGC from Tactical DCS Discord. Very cool Discord. Very cool Nerd King. Really helped me along the way of all my DCS rolling. I will leave link to Discord in description. It's really newcomers friendly i learned dcs in here all my modules i learned in here anyway uh, as you see you go into your open beta dcs config folder and delete retail then you launch the game again it will probably say something like it doesn't like remaining files maybe it won't say it i don't remember but anyway you still want to keep everything and you will get your product manager in here but you will not still have your licenses down below so what you do you go into licenses in here and manually look through all like 50 pockets 50 tradable goods in here and find all modules you have purchased and click install next to them next to them dcs closes completely and starts not installation but verifying files once again we're saving time it's verifying files and installing like small bits it might once again ask you to delete some stuff you want to keep it always keep it uh, and while you're keeping files you're verifying each module through this sc screen basically that's the final step you verify each module 
you're easy to go as you can see I moved everything and all my mods my SRS mod my tech view my SU strategy custom mod I believe any other mod will be synced uh, with your standalone because you moved all the steam files into here uh, it's just that you're ver verifying bunch of files you're saving a bunch of time it took me like I have quite some modules at the point of mig migration <laughs> so it took me around one hour maybe two hours because once again I didn't have guide I didn't know what to do so I was messing around with files I was moving deleting 150 gigabytes once again once again once again and then it worked so that's basically it I will probably leave transcription of the whole plan down below in the description we once again leave discord server uh, link to discord where guys are really helpful really welcoming we're warming dcs community tactical dcs community i will leave link here you can pick me here ask me if something's not working you can ask me in comments and if there's will be high demand i will probably add some edits in the pinned comment and also i possibly make version 2.0 if there will be some big mess up i missed or there will be a lot of people who had issues so that's it Thank you for watching, I hope it wasn't really confusing, I hope my screwed up mix of Russian and English didn't make it un un understandable. I hope you understood everything. And once again, ask me if you have whatever problem, I will try to help you with it. And have a safe migration to stand alone. <laughs> Bye.